Configured Application Communication. In order for an HMI application to interact with a data source, it must know where to find the data source. Configuring the application's communication tells it the location of the data source. To configure an application communication settings, double-click on the communication setup file in the RSLink Enterprise folder. If the RSLink Enterprise folder is not present, then RSLink Enterprise is either not installed or it has problem. There are two types of communication that needs to be set up, design time and runtime communication. Design time communication allows the HMI application to talk to the data source when it is running on the PC. When the application is downloaded into a PanelView Plus terminal, the application will use the runtime communication setting to talk with the data source instead of the design time communication setting. Before configuring the application's communication, be sure that the data source has a communication link to the PC running Factory Talk View Studio. In this example, a Micrologic 1100 PLC is connected to the PC by an Ethernet communication link. As a result, the Micrologic 1100 can be seen when the Ethernet driver is expanded. To configure the design time communication, click the design tab and then click the add button in the device shortcut window pane. Enter a shortcut name. The shortcut name is simply an alias that references a data source that the application will interact with. In this example, the shortcut is named ML1100 and it is assigned to the Micrologic 1100 PLC. To assign a data source to a device shortcut, select the data source from the left window pane and then click Apply. If the desired communication driver is not seen, one can add it by right-clicking on RSLink Enterprise and then select Add Driver. To demonstrate, a serial DF1 driver is added and configured to detect a Micrologic 1000 PLC. The COM port is set to 4 and Use Auto Configuration option is selected. The Micrologic 1000 PLC can be seen when the serial DF1 driver is expanded. To delete a driver, select it and then select Delete. In this example, the serial DF1 driver is deleted because it is not needed. After configuring the design time communication, the next step is to configure the runtime communication. To save time, one could click the Copy from Design to Runtime button to copy the design time communication settings to the runtime communication settings. In this example, the button is clicked because the data source for both the runtime and the design time is the same. If the data source is different for design and runtime, then the runtime communication needs to be configured separately.
Click the OK button to close the communication setup window.